Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is Shan with VKS back again with another guidebook of the week series. This is not just any ordinary guidebook. This is VKS's season finale guidebook of the week series. Unfortunately, this will be the last episode of the year. And although I am sad about ending it off, I'm happy and excited to show you this lighthearted, fun-filled guidebook for the holiday season. Well, I hope you're liking my outfit today. Felt a little festive as Christmas is just around the corner, but I mainly wanted to dress up to show you this week's guidebook that we have prepared just for all of you. So for that, VKS wants to thank all of our subscribers and everyone that tuned in so far. But this week we'll be looking at gift wrapping. So for the holiday season, if any of you have any type of challenges or any of you have been having challenges wrapping your gift wrapping, just like myself, gifts, presents or any type of packaging uh, this would be for you and again I want you all to sit back and enjoy and uh, after this guidebook you'll be a pro in uh, gift wrapping so let's take a look at this week's guidebook and uh, let's start off this process so here we have Christmas gift wrapping so there's different annotations you can use when creating a step-by-step pro -step process through our VKS platform so we have a text box here and then we have a number droplet uh, so this would be easy whenever you're adding notes or whenever you're identifying or highlighting something you don't want to put text onto your main picture step so you can put these little droplets and then add the information within the droplets as you can see here so whenever I come onto this droplet here I can see exactly what this item is this is our main gift which is our VKS sweater and the second droplet would be our box that we would be using third would be our wrapping paper four would be our scotch tape and five would be our scissors so this would be the ma main um, items that you would need in order to wrap your box and uh, use the gift wrapping paper to wrap the box that you would have your gift in so let's move on to the next step beware that cats may want to Held. All right, so we have some few guest appearances in our guidebook today. Uh, so here's our cat. Uh, again, it's this is an alert notification, one of the elements that can be applied onto uh, when you're creating your steps. Be aware that cats may want to help. So it's just showing you that the cat, again, cats are very friendly. So he wanted to pop up in this guidebook just to appear. Uh, so here he is, cute cat. <laughs> All right, next step, put your gift in the box. Uh, very straightforward, uh, nothing hard about this step, just a normal picture step. Uh, so other than pictures, you can upload pictures, videos, gifts, as you'll see in this guidebook. Close the box and tape it. Again, another straightforward step. Let's move on to the next step. Cut a reasonable amount of wrapping paper. Uh, so again, here you see him using scissors to cut across the wrapping paper here. And then we have a start instruction at the bottom. The actual size is not important since our technique takes less paper than usual techniques. So again, you can cut it to whichever length that you think would be appropriate. Now you might have a different sized box, but for this box here, we're cutting this to length. Let's move on to the next step. So here, note this technique can be used if you don't have enough paper to use the traditional technique. So this is a, an alternative way. Again, we've added multiple images. So onto your main picture step, you can add what is called a picture-in-picture -picture annotations and upload the different multiple images onto your main picture step. Uh, so here's step one, step two, and then here's step three. So basically, you're essentially using the gift wrapping paper to close, to wrap as much of the uh, dimension of the box as possible let's go on to the next step center the box on the paper and tape the first corner so again you would want to have a triangular shape now you can have a different shape but if you want to follow a perfect uh, gift wrapping process this is how you would start it off with and here we have another droplet here again showing where again where you can apply the tape and exactly uh, what item to use which is the scotch tape let's move on to the next step here so make sure to fit folded paper with the box edges. So again, here we've added a picture-in-picture -picture annotation here, a multi uh, secondary picture. And then we've uploaded a GIF. Uh, so if you don't want to upload a picture or a video, another alternative option is to add a GIF. So this GIF actually loops on itself, so it keeps replaying. So you don't have to replay if you've uploaded a video. And then it says fold a paper like this and put one piece of tape on the corner. So as you can see here how they're folding it 
and how they have showed it here and how to fold the box. Make sure to fit fold the paper with the box edges. So it's very important to follow this step because um, everything that you create step by step makes a big difference to the end result. So let's move on to the next step. Uh, use the same process for the other side of the box. Uh, so here again, uh, you would do the same thing for the other side as well, just what you've created in the previous step. And again, if you see that you know something is wrong or you're not getting what you're seeing here on the picture step, you can always go to the previous step, correct it, and then come back to that step again. So let's move on to the next step. Here, close the last side of the box. Again, here we have another GIF and shows you perfectly. Again, this would be the most important part because this is where I have the most uh, problem in is the last part and closing it off perfectly without having anything uh, bulge out or stick out or have excessive paper uh, that would be sticking out. So again, it's cleaner to follow the folded paper with the edges of the box as you've seen here. So pretty neat so far. Let's move on to the next step, fold the last end and tape it. So again, another straightforward, you wanna end it off by folding that last uh, side of the uh, box. Let's move on to the next step. Final expected result. So your results should look something like that if you did follow uh, each and every process the, uh, the way that we've uh, created here. Here we have a start instruction. Please note that BKS is not responsible if your result is not exactly like this. So again, don't blame if you don't get it like this way. And if you get it somewhat like this way, again, it's, it's still a learning process. You're there. And if it's not completely there, you can, like I said, you can always go to the previous step, fix it, and then come back. Uh, your method may be better and we are only here to help if you're missing wrapping paper or if you suck at gift wrapping like myself. Uh, so this was pretty straightforward for, for me. I mean, this made it easier so far with the pictures, gifts, and the different annotations that would be used. So let's move on to the next step. So here we have another element, conditional jump. So this is one of our many elements that you can use. Do you want to learn how to create your own bow? Well, I don't know how to create my own gift bow. I usually go and buy it. I wish I knew how to make my own. So if you click no, it brings you to the last step. If you click yes, it will show you the different steps on how you can create the gift bow. So let's choose yes. How to create your own gift bow? Use a rectangle piece of wrapping paper. Any size will do. So again, straightforward. You would cut that up to any size or length or width that you would like. Let's move on to the next step. Fold it two times in different axes. So as you can see, this is the first. And then fold it like that. Again, we have a gift to show you this again. So you could have uploaded pictures, but you don't want to add multiple images to show this. You can just show it in one step by uploading a gift or a video. So let's move on to the next step. Cut slides of paper on all its width. Do not cut all the way through. So again, very important that you do not cut all the way through, just as you see there. So you're pretty much cutting it till the end. Next step. So use scissors to curl your paper strips. Again, this is very important. Be gentle to make sure you don't rip the paper. You want to curl it very gently so you get that, that nice curl. So as you can see there. So you're essentially going to do that for all the strips. And let's move on to the next step. So your step should look something like that. And again, if you don't, uh, you know, you, you can always redo it. And uh, the whole point is to make sure that you get it right. Now, after you do it, you're gonna unfold and roll your paper to create the bow, just like as you see here. All right. And uh, roll the scotch tape to make an artisanal two-sided tape. Uh, so again, that's very simple. You wanna make sure you apply that on the box so you can stick the gift bow onto the, your gift wrapping paper. Then use a two-sided tape to fix the bow on your gift. So move on to the next step. So give your beautiful wrapped gift to your loved ones. So as you can see, uh, this makes a big difference compared to when the gift bow wasn't there. Uh, again, presentations, everything, just as much as the gift, the uh, gift wrapping that you do is also important. So we're going on to the uh, last step. So this would be when the 20th step here. 
So here we have a smart form that we've created. Uh, again, you can create any type of layouts to collect any type of data that you like. So here it's asking us to submit a picture so we can either submit a picture or submit a, another picture that we might have in our device. And then we have another layout asking us for any comments or feedback. Uh, so what did you learn out of this gift wrapping? Did you learn anything new? Um, are you gonna be uh, wrapping it this way for the holiday season? So I can write, I am happy that I learned how to, how to make my own gitbo. So that's something I learned. So uh, this would be very useful for me when I'm wrapping my gift box this holiday season. So we'll save that information there. Again, that would go into a report. You can always review everything that you've collected within this work instruction. So let's save that report there. And uh, I do have a last video to end off this step. A fun video for all of you to enjoy. I do have another guest appearances, my colleague Matt. Uh, you may have seen him in other guidebook of the week video, uh, but he decided to um, you know, come in uh, for me and uh, share this video with me. So uh, I hope you all enjoy this video and uh, this is him receiving that gift. He has no idea and he's very excited to open the gift. So let's take a look. <laughs> All right, there you have it, folks. So uh, he, he actually felt the Christmas spirit. He was actually surprised by the gift. And uh, this is what you want from anyone that you're uh, presenting the gift to. And that ends the guidebook of the week, this year's guidebook. And uh, yes, I am sad, but at the same time, I wanna wish you all, BKS wants to wish you a happy holidays. And uh, if you wanna learn more about BKS or you wanna book a demo to pretty much learn about anything to how to standardize your process, uh, you can visit our website at bksapp.com or you can contact our BKS customer uh, representative. Uh, thank you again all for everyone and I hope you have a wonderful uh, happy holidays and uh, I may see you soon. We may be back next year, so stay tuned for that. This is Shan signing off.